Do you ever analyze how you're feeling? You should. And here's why. But first, I'll tell you a little story of what happened just now. So I needed a break from editing, so I went to the kitchen to, you know, make myself some dinner. Started cooking, put everything together, get the meat out, open the thing, put it in the pan. At first I thought it was fine, but then I started smelling it. You could smell that it does not smell like it's supposed to, so that little difference made me think, yeah, that thing is spoiled. Should throw it away. That's what ended up happening, I, I threw it out. Because those two pounds for the minced beef are not worth having another day spent on the toilet. So that's just what happened and you know, it can happen to anyone. Interesting is how you react to it. Because on any good day, I would have just been like, yeah, happens, throw it out, take something else, bam, done. But my reaction was more like, fuck! Okay, it wasn't that obvious, I didn't scream around or uh, did a bit. I did realize that I was getting annoyed by this happening. In the end, I did go for some frozen pawns, just put them in the pan instead. That was absolutely fine and I had dinner. It wasn't great, but it was a good dinner. It was during the eating that I thought about this more and I thought, wow. I must be having a bad day. It didn't occur to me before and I don't think that it's because of this instance of the spoiled food that my day got bad. I mean yes it is annoying that I had to throw it away, yes it is annoying that I uh, didn't get to eat that what I was looking for and yes it is annoying that the best before date is today and so it should be still okay but just isn't. But those are all just little things. And if the little things get you annoyed, that must be that there is something deeper behind that. At least that's what I think. Because usually those little things will just be ignored if I'm happy. It was really not that big of a deal. If I would be having a very bad day, I would probably say, no, no, you're not bad. I'm still eating you. And you know, go for the destructive approach. Another way to figure out if you're having a good or a bad day, for me at least, is listening to the good music. Yesterday, for instance, I heard a track and I was just dancing to it. I was just, you know, going crazy while cooking. I, I went crazy inside my room. I went crazy. And today, if I listen to the exact same song, I'm like, yeah, all right, it's a good song. But that's it. So that's another way to, to figure out what your mood is. But you, you need to actively think about that. How do you react to stuff? How do you react to a good song? How do you react... For that you need to know that it is a good song, that you liked it before. How do you react to the little things that might annoy you? How annoying are the little annoying things? And that is an indication for how you're actually feeling. I don't know what you're doing with this information now because I have that information that apparently I'm having a bad day, I'm, apparently I'm not feeling so well but literally that's like I, I can't do anything about that really. Although the way you think about your feelings does influence actually your, your feelings. If I tell myself or if I tell other people, oh man, I'm having such a bad day, like everything is, is terrible, then you will actually persuade yourself, even if you didn't think those things were true, you'll persuade yourself that things are terrible. Maybe that was my problem today, because I was uh, making a video for my brother, and I basically told him uh, what I told you a few days ago, um, and maybe that got me down. Maybe because saying, yeah, my life here in Cranfield is not as great as your life in El Paso, maybe that is why I'm like down and putting myself down. Maybe it's because in the last 24 hours I've been editing for 5 hours and that's just exhausting. But that is a general problem that I'm having. Maybe it's just me. Um, but <laughs> my ex-girlfriend also complained about that if she asked me, hey, What's wrong? And I just said, you know, nothing. Nothing's wrong. Because I genuinely thought that 
nothing was wrong. Because if you ask me, I can't tell you what, like if you ask me now, what's wrong? I, ca I can't, I can't, I, I don't have anything to say. I, although now I know that I must, that something must be wrong, I must be having a sort of bad day, otherwise I wouldn't react to something like this, something insignificant in the way I reacted. I mean, it wasn't that bad how I reacted, but this little thing got me annoyed. It's, it's not like it, it really uh, made a big difference, like I, I wasn't crying or anything, I wasn't getting really emotional about it. But during dinner when I, when I went inside my brain and, and asked, hey, how's it going? My brain actually told me, yo, I, I, I am annoyed that I didn't get to eat that food. So, the way you react to things tells you about how you're feeling. And that is usually how I figure out my state of mind. Because if your task is, hey, tell me how you're feeling, and you think about it, um, how I'm feeling, I'm like, normal. But if you just observe what you're doing, and that is way easier, then you can actually get a really good picture. Now, what is the application of that? How do you use that knowledge? Well, you have to figure that out for yourself. It might be helpful if you're in a bad mood to know that you're in a bad mood. Because then you can do damage control. If you know you're gonna be an ass to people, you might want to avoid people. Or if you know, wow, you're having such a great day, Maybe it's a good day to, you know, get some work done. Work on something that you usually do not have the motivation to work on. But in general, I would say knowing how your mind feels is a good thing. And that's why you need to pay attention on what you're doing. Not just for the sake of doing it. That sounded wrong. Not just for the sake of getting it done, but analyzing the process, stepping back and having a look at you. Be your own observer. And when you're doing that, you can figure out why you're doing the things the way you're doing them. There might be just one reason why you do them, but the way you do them might be different. And the way you do them tells you something about your mental state. Which is really interesting to me, which is also a reason why I had to vlog about it. And I hope this information is any accurate for any one of you. Please let me know, I mean, that would be interesting. Just let me know what you think about that. Is what I'm saying total bullshit? That's just my opinion, that's just what works for me, or better, what I think is the case for me. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe I'm not even having a bad day. Hey, I'm not even... I'm not having a bad day. Why would I be having a bad day? Everything is great. Smile, thumbs up, like this video. <laughs> <laughs> what? And here we come back to the point that if you tell yourself that you're having a great day, it's much more likely that you're actually gonna have a great day. So, yeah, I mean, I'm having a great day today, so I hope you're having a great day too. Make your back up. Now, how do you react to what I'm saying? Does it piss you off? Maybe you're having a bad day. <laughs> is it funny? Maybe you're having a good day. Because if that shit is funny, you must be having a good day. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.